The Balvenny 12 year old double wood single malt Scotch whiskey. So, when is a Scotch whiskey better in the United States than it is in Scotland? I'll tell you after I tell you about the history of a Balvenny distillery and a little bit about this whiskey. Balvenny Distillery is located in Dufftown in the Speyside region of Scotland. The name Balvenny means Village of Luck. The distillery was originally known as Glen Corden. It took the name of the huge ruined castle, Balvenny, which was located next door. Balvenny Distillery is one of the few distilleries in Scotland that does its own floor maltings, which make up about 15% of the total mash. In 1886, William Grant invested his entire life savings into opening the Glenfiddich Distillery in Dufftown. In 1892, William Grant built the Balvenie Distillery. The distillery was built from the Balvenie House. Previously, he had been working at the Mortlock Distillery. The stills were previously used at Lagavulin Distillery. In 1893, on May 1st, the first distillation ran from the new Balvenie Distillery. In 1957, the distillery increased the number of stills from two to four. In 1965, Balvenny Distillery installed two new stills. In 1971, the Balvenny Distillery was renovated and the number of stills was increased to a total of nine. In 1973, Balvenny Distillery began distillery bottling. Previously, the distillery provided fillings primarily for the Grant's Standfast Blend. The Balvenny 12-year-old Double Wood Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, it was aged for 12 years, in refill American oak cast and finished for nine months in first fill European oak Oloroso sherry butts. It is bottled at 43% alcohol by volume and sells for about $57 in my neighborhood. So as you saw there in the notes, this is bottled at 43% alcohol by volume. However, this is a 750 ml, uh, which is typical for the United States. However, now, Legally, they can export uh, to the United States 70 CLs and in the UK and the Europe bottling, the 70 CLs are at 40 ABV, 3% less alcohol by volume. And I'm starting to see those creep into my neighborhood. I've seen a few of those around. My hope is that they're not getting stupid on us and replacing the 750-43% with the 70-40% and that's how they're going to do things. And this is going to be a, a growing trend in Scotch whiskey. The distilleries, I understand, want to save a buck or two by having a uniform size of bottle and so forth. You know, and, and having one label uh, for all your bottling. However, don't cheat the Americans of a dram. That's about the difference between uh, a 70 uh, 70 CL and a 750. Alrighty, so you can dial in your profile of a whiskey between the sherry cask and a bourbon cask. You can go towards about, you know, a 90% uh, sherry cask with just a 10% uh, bourbon cask influence to, you know, on the other end you can have, you know, 90% bourbon cask with just a little bit of a sherry cask influence. Uh, the Aberfeldy, uh, for example, um, 12 year old, I would say it's about 90% bourbon cask and 10% sherry cask. Not in terms of how much time spent in the cask, but in terms of the influence and the flavor profile that you get. Uh, this is why the Aberfeldy uh, is so honeyed. A lot of that's coming out of the bourbon cask and the vanilla and doesn't have a whole lot of the dark fruit notes on it. Anyway, back to the Balfenny 12 year old. The Balvenny 12 year old double wood, I would say is an even 50 50. Now, I'm not saying that they took 50% sherry cask and 50%. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, in terms of the impact and the flavor profile, is it comes across as an even expression of bourbon cask and sherry cask. It's got some nice sweetness. It dries a little bit on the back end, so it's not sweet all the way through. 
get bourbon cash, the vanilla, caramel, a little bit of a butterscotch. As it dries towards the back end, I start getting a little bit more of the sherry notes, a little bit of the oxidized Olorosa sherry cask, so a little bit of uh, bitterness, a little bit of almond, a little bit of a, more of the uh, dark fruits. Sort of a, a dried apple, you know, if you cut an apple and you leave it on the countertop and it's dried and it's, you know, a little bit of oxidized. It's got an even transition. It doesn't jump, you know, from one to the next and into the middle. It's sort of an even, it's not the same by the front as it is in the finish, uh, but it's a nice, slow, incremental change from the sweet vanilla caramel uh, notes that you get from more for the bourbon cask you start heading into the sherry cask on, on the back end So it, it starts drying it's one of the uh, better older also characteristics get a little more of the uh, dried black fruit notes and the apple goes from maybe a little bit more um, a Baked apple like an apple pie into maybe more of an, an oxidized apple uh, what uh, lingers on the finish is some nice uh, baking spice a little bit of cinnamon a dusting of nutmeg you know it's not a real 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 a spicy whiskey it's sort of an even expression of all these characteristics again it's not a whiskey with a lot of kapow it's just sort of a, i'd say an easy drinking whiskey that is pleasant i wouldn't add any water i wouldn't add any ice to it i would just drink it as is this is a whiskey that's also ready to go you don't have to tinker with it you just grab it pour yourself a, a wee dram and it's good as is. Now, uh, I think it's a good whiskey. It's not a mind-blowing whiskey. It's sort of an everyday whiskey. I wouldn't call it a beginner's whiskey necessarily, but I would just say it's sort of a straight down the middle, even everyday drinker, pleasant dram. Now, what would I give in terms of a score? I'll go solid 85 points, solid 85 points. It's one in which I'm not going to go bonkers over you know, and try to find a bottle. But someone gives you one, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, a nice Balvenie uh, double wood. And, and, and there we go. Alrighty, uh, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you have not yet subscribed, but you like watching my videos, I would greatly appreciate it. If you would subscribe, ring the bell to be notified for when I go live or post a new video. And until next time, Slanja. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.